Welcome back, Merciless Crew. It's your boy, Merc. Thank you for tuning in to another outstanding movie review. In today's video, we're going to be going over Uncharted, a brand new Sony slash PlayStation movie that just dropped February 18th. I just watched it in theaters and I'm beyond excited. Before we jump in though to this adventurous review, I want to make sure that everybody has the chance to like, subscribe, go ahead, tap that notification bell one time for your boy. I just want to make sure that every time I post a video, you guys are fully aware of it. Uncharted. For those of you who may not know, this movie actually stems from a video game and not just any video game, but a series of exquisite video games. Mm -hmm. I wanted to bring up this fact because what I've been been reading and seeing online is the comparison between the film and the video game. Uncharted fans are expecting a lot from this movie, you know, just like we've expected so much from the Uncharted games and bringing back Nathan Drake onto the big screen. When a lot of us saw the name and the title attached to it, we were all very excited, especially the fact that Tom Holland is playing Nathan Drake. At first, I did have a couple gripes with that fact alone. You know, Tom Holland is so young, Nathan Drake is so old, but throughout the video games, you do play throughout different parts of his life. It's not just him as an adult. I love Tom Holland and I was really excited to see how he was gonna play the great legend of Nathan Drake. Mark Wahlberg plays Victor Sullivan in this movie and I think that he was my one character that I didn't like who was casted because Victor Sullivan is an older gentleman, very tall, you know, thin fella, and here we got short little Mark Wahlberg who is an inch taller than baby Tom Holland looking like a muscular toddler. Now I'm not here to spoil contents of the movie or ruin it by any stretch of the imagination. I loved all of the action, the cinematography, the music, even the locations that they choose to shoot in this movie. All of the scenes of them having these extreme firefights or the aerial plane assaults was absolutely astonishing. I wanted to give Uncharted its accolades up front and tell you everything that I loved about it just so I can bring it all down and tell you all the things that I hated. Number one thing that threw me off during this movie was the pacing. I was able to keep up with the plot, the characters, what's going on and who's the villain, but I just felt that everything was a bit choppy. You know, one minute we're here, one minute we're there, and we had very little explanation as to who the key characters are. Now, I don't mean to compare the movie to the video game because that's what a lot of people are doing. I I really tried to watch this movie with fresh eyes, only knowing the facts, okay? We got Drake, who is kind of like a Tomb Raider, and he's basically looking for treasure, and he has an older guy that is his mentor, and he has a long-lost brother, and there's people that I knew the names were going to be relevant. But the way that everyone was introduced on screen was a little odd to me. It was a little odd. I didn't feel a lot of backstory or build-up for these characters, and I'm not sure if it's because they're based on video game people. People. I don't know if they didn't really want to go in depth as to who Nathan Drake was, who Sully was. I'm not a big fan of movies that instead of showing you, they tell you. There's a part of the movie where they just kind of explain Sully's history and it would have been really nice to actually see. But at the end of the day, I felt that PlayStation and Sony relied on our knowledge of the characters to kind of hold this movie up. Another issue that I had as well was seeing Tom Holland as Nathan Drake because at this point, he's superly Peter Parker to me. He's Spider-Man. There were parts where he's jumping over buildings and swinging off shit and I just kind of like looked at him as Peter Parker. I could not see him as Nathan Drake. I did have a good time seeing him. He was my favorite character in the entire movie. Victor Sullivan or Mark Wahlberg's character was actually funny and they had to develop a lot more of a different backstory for everyone because they didn't go off of the video game. So if you watch this movie and you're comparing it to the Uncharted video game series, I think you're gonna be let down. There is nothing about those video games that really translates onto the big screen other than a couple of cool scenes or like cool things that you probably loved from each video game. The movie just 
does its own thing, it has its own plot, it has its own story, and it doesn't connect to the video game in any kind of way other than its characters, the name, and the journey that they take. With all that being said, even though I don't feel this movie was a great mirroring of the video game, which I think is a hindrance in all video game movies, is that this movie made its own lane, and I'm sure they're going to be making an Uncharted 2, and they're going to have Mark Wahlberg again, and they're probably going to introduce a couple more characters that we know, but nothing that we're gonna expect. And I'm 100% cool with it. I really enjoy the brand new and fresh take of Drake. Besides a couple of those pacing issues and the way they introduce characters, I'm gonna give Uncharted a six out of 10. I really enjoyed the action, like I said, and all of the actors did an extremely good job coming together to make a cohesive action adventure slash comedy movie. I hope that you guys take the time to go and see this movie and let me know in the comments what your favorite part of Uncharted was and which video game is your favorite. Out of all of the games I'd have to say that Uncharted 5 is my absolute favorite. I play online every night. My gamer tag on Uncharted is actually Smirky Murky man. Go ahead and follow me on there and you can hear me and my son roasting people as we die and kill people but you already know what it is. It's your boy Merc. It's been a pleasure but I'm out. I'm really only trying to make it to the top Most times I'm pessimistic, still I give it all I got Did what I had to do to make it out Had to get it right cause my shit, he was coming out I had a man up and put that money in my mouth So when these niggas talk, I ain't trying to hear them out